This video will cover hyper IgE syndrome, also known as Job syndrome. There will be some USMLE style questions at the end. Hyper IgE syndrome, also known as Job syndrome, is is the autosomal dominant disorder that has the deficiency of Th17 cells due to STAT3 mutation leading to impaired recruitment of new trophils to sites of infection. Presentations of hyper IgE syndrome, cold, non inflamed, staphylococcal abscesses. Retained baby teeth. Coarse facies. Dermatologic problems, eczema. Bone fractures from minor trauma. Findings of hyper IgE syndrome have elevated IgE and increased eosinophils. Remember, learn the ABCDEF to get a job. A. Autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. B. Bone fractures from minor trauma. C. Horse facies. D. Dermatologic problems, eczema. E. Elevated IgE levels. F. Frayed, retained baby teeth. It's the question time. A 16-year-old boy presents with recurrent skin abscesses, eczema, and recurrent pneumonia. His past medical history is significant for frequent fractures and dental abnormalities. On physical examination, he has multiple erythematous, crusted lesions on his face, neck, and extremities. A chest x-ray shows evidence of pneumonia. His laboratory results show elevated levels of IgE. What is the most likely underlying genetic defect in this patient? A. Autosomal recessive mutation in the IL-12 receptor. B. Autosomal dominant mutation in the STAP3 gene. C. Autosomal dominant mutation in the CD40L gene. D. X-linked recessive mutation in the WIS gene. E. Autosomal dominant mutation in the CFTR gene. The answer is, B. Autosomal dominant mutation in the STAP3 gene. Autosomal dominant hyper IgE syndrome, ADHIES is a rare primary immunodeficiency disorder characterized by recurrent skin and lung infections, eczema, elevated serum EG levels, and skeletal and dental abnormalities. The most common underlying genetic defect in ADHIES is a heterozygous mutation in the STAT3 gene, which encodes a transcription factor involved in the signaling pathway of multiple cytokines. This mutation leads to impaired Th17 cell differentiation and subsequent susceptibility to infections. The other answer choices are associated with different primary immunodeficiency disorders. A 12-year-old boy presents with recurrent skin abscesses, eczema, and recurrent pneumonia. His past medical history is significant for frequent fractures and dental abnormalities. On physical examination, he has multiple erythematous, crusted lesions on his face, neck, and extremities. A chest x-ray shows evidence of pneumonia. His laboratory results show elevated levels of IgE genetic testing reveals a heterozygous mutation in the STAT3 gene. The patient is started on prophylactic antibiotics and intravenous immunoglobulin therapy. However, despite the treatment, the patient continues to have recurrent infections. Which of the following additional treatments is most appropriate for this patient? A. Interferon gamma therapy. B. Sirolimus therapy. C. Allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. D. Rituximab therapy. E. Dipilumab therapy. The answer is, C. Allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Autosomal dominant hyper IgE syndrome is a rare primary immunodeficiency disorder characterized by recurrent skin and lung infections, eczema, elevated serum EG levels, and skeletal and dental abnormalities. The most common underlying genetic defect in ADHIES is a heterozygous mutation in the STAT3 gene, which encodes a transcription factor involved in the signaling pathway of multiple cytokines. Prophylactic antibiotics and IVIG therapy are commonly used to manage infections in patients with AD highs. However, in some cases, these treatments may not be sufficient to prevent recurrent infections. In such cases, allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation HSCT, may be considered. HSCT has been shown to cure the immunodeficiency in some patients with AD highs. Interferon gamma therapy and sirolimus therapy have been reported to improve some clinical features in ADHIES, but their efficacy in preventing infections is not well established. Rituximab therapy has been used to treat autoimmune manifestations in some patients with ADHIES, but it is not recommended as a routine treatment for infections. 
Dupilumab therapy is a new treatment option for AD highs that targets the IL-4 receptor alpha subunit, but its efficacy in preventing infections in patients with AD highs is not well established. A 15-year-old girl is evaluated for recurrent respiratory infections, eczema, and recurrent skin abscesses. Physical examination reveals multiple erythematous papules and pustules on her face, neck, and extremities. Her laboratory results show elevated levels of IgE and eosinophils. What other laboratory findings are most likely to be present in this patient? A. Low levels of immunoglobulin A and immunoglobulin M. B. Elevated levels of immunoglobulin and immunoglobulin A. C. Elevated levels of total serum protein and C. Reactive protein. D. Elevated levels of interleukin-4 and interleukin-5. E. Elevated levels of serum IgD and IgM. The answer is D. Elevated levels of interleukin-4 and interleukin-5. Patients with Job syndrome often have elevated levels of eosinophils and interleukin-4, IL-4 and interleukin-5, IL-5, which are cytokines associated with allergic inflammation and eosinophil activation. Low levels of IgA and IgM are also commonly seen in hyper-IgE. Elevated levels of total serum protein and C-reactive protein may be seen during episodes of infection or inflammation, but they are not specific to hyper-IgE. Elevated levels of serum IgD and IgM are not typically associated with ADHIES. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.